AS tech and we're back with more vintage headphones. Today we have the AKG K250. Now, you guys might have heard of the K240, obviously the, the classic, the legendary K240. Uh, you know, many iterations of that headphone throughout the years. And I've done many videos on the K240, you know, from the rebranded AKGs to the, you know, multiple variants of the K240. But this one is not a K240, it's a K250. So, uh, numerically, it should be an upgrade, but is it? Is it a you know is it a new headphone that nobody has heard of or you know like old new headphone nobody has heard of or is it just another K240? Well, it's a pretty simple answer to that. It's just another K2 you know K240. But uh, this headphone has a pretty uh, interesting history because it's it's I would say this is one of the rarer uh, headphones made by AKG. You know it's not as common as you can say a K240 Sextet or a K240 DF or even a K241 for that matter, which this is based on. But at the same time, it's not as widespread as those headphones because this was a really a limited production headphone. I mean, it was not, you know, sold as a limited production headphone, but it, it, it was just not successful enough to, you know, warrant AKG to continue production for this headphone. So K250, as I said, is based on the K241, so it is having that, you know, those, those passive uh, felt uh, you know, baffle plate. So instead of the sextet, which, which is having the passive radiators, the diaphragms, this is just having that acoustic, uh, you know, material, the silk material on the baffle plate, six, you know, uh, six holes, one white color, one black color, you know. So this is exactly the same as the K241 that I made a video on many, many years ago, I think now. The K250 uh, was marketed by AKG as a, you can say, the AKG version of that of the of the Realistic Pro 50 that I made a video on. But that's a big misconception because the Realistic Pro 50 was based on the AKG Sextet. This is based on the K241. The Sextet is having the passive radiators. This is having the, the silk material. That's the difference in the baffle plate of these two headphones. Although they look very similar and they're based on the same chassis. Uh, with the headband structure and the you know the pad the padding and everything is very similar even the ear cups uh you know is very similar to the realistic pro 50 which is different than the k241 the the mechanism the way this moves is slightly different than the k240 so the k250 and the realistic pro 50 as well as i think the k340 share the same chassis and structure you know you know they have the same structure but the k240s the k241 they have a you know they, they follow the same k240 structure which uh, which we all know and which you all love you know so the k250 is similar to the realistic pro uh, pro 50 in that regard but not in terms of the sonics and not in terms of the components used because the uh, acoustic components are completely different than uh, than you know than that you know than the uh, um, realistic pro 50 which is as, as i said a sextet headphone this is is this is not a sextet now impedance of this headphone is 600 ohms obviously so it's uh, it's very very inefficient I, I would say these these old AKG 600 ohm models are you know they need a lot of you know lot of power you know you just, you're not playing around with this headphone so uh, they are not sensitive at all they need power and you know they are quite uh, quite uh, inefficient so now personally speaking I, I find the K250 to be unbelievably gorgeous you know the thing i really like about this headphone is the grill and the way the ear cups are designed it's the grill is slightly pushed inside and then you have the center uh, you know the, the, the finishing the trim piece i think it looks absolutely stunning the k240s as much as i like those headphones and they look pretty you know decent pretty vintage this actually looks pretty classy and even if you know if it was launched today in, in today's market with slight you know changes here and there i still think it would be quite relevant because the ear cup design is quite beautiful and i think uh, it's one of the most pretty uh, akg headphones ever made uh, it is all plastic there is no metal which is unfortunate but imagine this headphone with a really nice build quality metal construction overall it would have been you know absolutely stunning but nonetheless i think it's one of the one of the better look, better looking uh, k2 k240 models or you know akgs overall i think it looks quite quite fantastic the comfort uh, you know is pretty good I, i'm having you know brain waves pads and the original headband which is faded a little bit and it's a bit stiff uh, which you would expect uh, you know with time you know the, the degradation but it's not bad it's still comfortable it still has the shape of a of a human head so that's that you know it's not like crooked so it, it would hurt you know this is not this is perfectly shaped to your head so uh, it is relatively comfortable for the most part uh, the elastics are actually in pretty good shape you know you can replace them pretty easily but uh, these are the stock elastics and they have been you know working just fine uh, overall i would say the comfort is pretty good the build quality is typically ag k240 uh, from the time it's plastic completely but uh, that's what you would expect 
uh, you know, the overall sound quality is, is exactly the same as the K241. You know, you can get pretty decent uh, bass extension out of these headphones, especially with these pads. Uh, and, and they're pr pretty neutral for the most part. I mean, uh, the K241, uh, I, th I think, is a pretty pretty great headphone. Uh, but my favorite still remains to be the Realistic Pro 50 with the Sextet drivers. So in general, I prefer the Sextet overall as my favorite AKG K240 model. But the K250 is pretty special uh, just because of the design. I think, you know, it's just absolutely stunning. So this is the K250. Another AKG, you know, done. Uh, this, you know, historically, I don't think it's extremely significant as the as the sextet or even the df but it is a it is a you know unique headphone not many uh videos on uh, none i mean absolutely nothing but uh, it is a rare headphone but at the same time i don't think it's a significant headphone because it's just another akg so k250 i'll see you guys next time with more vintage headphones take it easy and like always have a good one